Hello everyone, and today I want to talk to you about the Trace project. It was originally planned as another move to Earn app to match the trends of 2022. However, the project team revised their plans and decided to release a larger project with many new mechanics and their own metaverse. Thus, Trace is a full-fledged ecosystem in which there are products such as an M2E application, a unique game similar to Pokemon Go, as well as its own geolocation platform Metaphora, which allows you not to depend on companies offering GPS navigation services, it took the team four years to develop it. In addition to interesting products, Trace also has a number of features that are sure to attract new users and investors. It is worth starting with the project partners, who are actually many, and among them there are such giants as Bitmart and LBank. Such a partnership already tells us that the project team is serious about its further development. There is another serious partner, namely the Polygon blockchain. The team's last meeting with blockchain representatives took place at the Polygon event in India. The next feature is that Trace is the world's first project with a new drive-to-earn technology. For the most part, it is considered an analog of move to earn, but it has a number of differences and may become a trend for 2023. And so, let's figure out what Drive to Earn is and find out what mechanics the game offers us. In fact, everything is quite simple. In the game, we need to move faster than 10 km slash h to make a profit. Movement can be any, the game does not ask you to run, you can ride a bike or a car and earn. Keep in mind that you do not need to be driving. Trace insists that you earn as a passenger, not a driver, to avoid accidents. Even more importantly, the project encourages you to abandon cars altogether and offers the use of more environmentally friendly alternatives to transport. To start playing, we need an NFT machine that can be purchased on the project's marketplace. Each car is different in body type and level. We can interact with our NFT in different ways, for example, configure, repair and sell them. And also the game allows us to build a new NFT car from the NFT we already have. As I said, cars differ in body type, namely sedan, hatchback, SUV, coupe, and supercar. Each body is a rarity of your car, therefore, a supercar will be considered the rarest of all. All your earnings will be formed from the attributes of the car and the amount of energy. At the initial stage, the energy scale will be two points. To increase it, you need to buy a lot of ordinary cars or several high-level ones, as for attributes, there are five of them in the game. The first two, power and aerodynamics, will affect the receipt of more tokens at the expense of energy. The next attribute is weight. The lower the weight of your car, the less energy it will consume. Also, every car has a strength factor. Over time, the machines will start to break down and the strength will directly affect the rate of breakage. Well, the last attribute is luck. It will affect the number of drop-down NFT boxes in which you can drop new cars with different characteristics. And so, now we have come to start using the project. To do this, we need to download the Trace app, which will soon be available on Google Play and App Store. In the application itself, we need to connect a wallet and register by specifying the invitation code, without which the game will not allow you to create a profile. You can take the code in the description under this video. After that, we need to start acquiring an NFT machine, since we will not be able to earn money without it. After completing the purchase, we can start moving and gradually spend our energy reserved to receive tokens. As for tokens, they can be spent on car repairs, pumping, as well as minting new NFT. In addition, you can wait for the token listing to sell it on the exchange. According to the developers, the listing will take place after the token presale. At the moment, Trace has three types of tokens, which differ in functionality and ways of application. The first token is ACE. It is a service one and is used inside the game. You can get it for completing various tasks. The next token is TRC. It has a fixed supply and unlike ACEs with unlimited emission. The total number of TRC is 5 billion tokens, of which 15% will be allocated to maintain liquidity and almost half will be used to reward participants. 
The token will be used for staking as well as in DAO management, where you can jointly make decisions about the further development of the project. Well, the last token is Matic. It is used to pay commissions when buying NFT, since the project is developed on the Polygon blockchain. Now let's talk about the future of Trace. Having studied the roadmap, we can say that the developers plan to regularly introduce new mechanics and improvements to the game. Thus, for the whole of 2023, we will see many even more unique products with new technologies, such as Explore to Earn, Find and Earn, and Play to Earn. All these products will be implemented within one ecosystem, which will allow the project to get even closer to creating a metaverse and gather an impressive crypto community around it. Therefore, in order not to miss such a cool project by yourself, be sure to subscribe to their official social networks, get acquainted with the project in more detail already and independently. And of course, do not forget to subscribe to my Telegram channel, where I regularly share with you the most useful activities from the world of cryptocurrencies, by completing which you have a chance to earn. In the meantime, like this video and write in the comments what you think about Trace. Have a nice day to everyone and bye-bye.